Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to show you how you can work with user information in Firebase. Before we work on the order page, we have to have like the user profile completed. For example, if a user is going to order something, they must have a shipping address. They must have all the information we need, the email address and the phone. So far, we do have their email address, but we do not have their profile. That is the missing part. I just recorded a few video about the order and I thought it would be confusing if I put the order for uh, a little partial and then come to profile. We will just complete the profile and then we will continue on. So working with user is a little tricky in Firebase. It is not like if you go to the database you have going to authentication, you have lists of all users here. So you have the email address, you have their name and all the information. You have the user ID here and everything is provided here. But this is not like you cannot uh, just get this information and display it here to get this information you can you you are going to use the something called admin api in firebase i am going to talk about admin api and how you can use it in the future video for now just a little introduction admin api is going to be node.js code that will run on the server it means anything on the admin if you are going to use the admin api you will use the Firebase cloud function and we will write node.js code. So far what we have done was the web interface like the one is starting here. If you go to documentation, they have different uh, documentation for Android, iOS and C++, Unity and the web. So far we have used the web one. So if you are going to use the admin API, these are going to be code which will be run on the server. So we will touch that in the future video. For now, what we can do is we have this information. This information is useful for us if only for authentication. So if you want to store the profile of the user, you have to store them in a database here. So that way your data will be secure. And you will come to the database and we will create another collection. We will call it profile and inside profiles we can in store all the profile of the user. So basically I will just add a collection and I will call it profiles. Going to next, for now, we can say user ID. And this is going to be string. It is going to save the user ID, which we have in the table here. This is the user ID. This will be unique in Firebase, so we can store that here. And inside this collection, we can store all the user information. That is basic for now, but we have to have the profile information here. So I'm going to add another menu here, another component, and we will add the profile information here so far all you have to know is if you want to work with the user information you have to store it in a separate collection the profile if you want to access the user information in the authentication tab you have to use the firebase admin api that's it so that's it for this video but if you want to watch how i'm going to do this one i will create a profile page you can continue watching first of all we are going to our navigation to add the menu Maybe we can just duplicate the order page for the profile. That view. And now what we have to do is we have to come in the component. We have the navbar. Okay, we go to admin here. And just above the logout, I'm going to add the profile here. And this is going to do exactly like it should be a view router. We should not copy the same code as we have here, but I can just close the tag. And now it is going to send us to the profile. So I am going to write FA user here. So we'll save it. It should point to profile. And in the profile page, we will uh, query all the information about the current user and we will display it there. So if I save it for now, it works just fine. We have to create the route for this one. Coming to the routes. I'll duplicate this part and this is going to be profile. And the name of this is going to be profile. And this is going to 
refer to the profile component so before I save it I'm going to import the profile component there if I save it for now let's see if we do not have any errors nope everything is working just fine we will come to our application if you refresh it you have your profile here if you click on this one it will load the order because we duplicate the order page so now you can come to the profile page and you can customize it so I will do all the customization behind the scene I will add a custom graphic and we will add the setting for the user to update all their information like shipping address their name and all of those information and we will work on how you can save those data into the firebase in the next video thank you for watching